Hello and welcome to the Disguise the Surprise channel, which is all things gifting, whether you're packaging your gifts or creating something to give to somebody or for a party. Um, I want to walk you through in this video on how to do some basic editing in Canva when you purchase a digital download. This one is going to be an example of a graduation, but you can take the same concepts and use it for any of them. So here we have this template. This would be after you have already opened it up, um, opened your Canva account if you didn't have one, and when you pull up the templates, this is where it will bring you something right in this type of a screen. Um, I'm gonna scroll down and just show you. This is the example of what this one can look like, but this is what really your template will open to when you get there. Anytime you see these clouds in green hills, that's kind of a photo template where you can, a frame where you can drop in your own photos. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bring um, in and upload your photos. In Canva on the top left, you see this purple upload files. You're going to click on that and anywhere on your computer, you're going to find whether you have your pictures, wherever it may be that you have them. And then you would click on whichever ones you wanted to click open. And it's going to upload all of your images right here in on the left hand side. So I'm going to start with this kind of main central largest one. So I want to choose this particular photo. I'm just going to click on it and drag it over. Make sure the arrow comes into that box, because if I go there, it's going to go there. I want it here. Um, and then I just let go. So you can see it went into the frame, but his head is a little bit to the right. If I wanted it centered for any of your images, move it around, you can double click on your image. See how you can see the outside of it. So if I wanted to center the head, I could move it over and drag it like that and then just click back in the document. And now you see that his head is centered. So you can do that for any of your images just move it around until you see pull it in smaller larger until you see what you want inside of that frame and then you would literally just fill them all in right so again this is what it can look like um here's one for a girl it just depends where you're going for okay so i want to also make sure um they the frames can't be locked in place so take for example this frame of three if i click on it and move it around it moves you can see the little red lines kind of lock it in place so when you're dragging your photos in make sure that you don't move those around but you can always just move it back if you need to um, okay so then we come to our text you're always going to have if the if the template where whoever you purchased it from allows you to like in this example i'm allowing somebody to change the font different font size text color whichever it may be so when you click on I'm going to work on this Alexander and you can see when I clicked on it, it highlighted it in purple. That means that is the text box that anything I hit is going to function in here. So say out of curiosity, I wanted to see what a capital A for Alexander would look like. I just click right there behind it, hit back, and then I type in a capital A and there's a different look. So you can choose what you would like. Now say for example, I wanted to see what this word in his name looked like larger. You can take any of your four corners and just pull it and it's going to make it larger. You can move it left and right, up and down, wherever you want. Now keep in mind sometimes, depending on how you're printing and your printer you're gonna send it to, you might wanna leave a little bit of space, I think they call it the bleed space around the different sides. Um, so here would be another example if I wanted to make it larger, if I wanna bring it back down a little bit smaller, then you can do that as well. Um, Another thing is if you do something and you want to just go back or not sure, like say I wanted to change this to red or any other color and I was like, oh, I don't like that. I just want to go back one thing up here. If you come to the left, this back arrow, you can click the undo button just in a lot of the same as in a lot of different computer programs. For example, say you had a name like with that had a letter that dropped down say it was a girl l e y see how the y sort of drops into the photo you might like that that's perfectly fine if you want to bring it not in the photo uh you can come to any of your corners and drag it in smaller now it's making the font a little smaller but now how at least on the bottom i see it's above the bottom of the y is now above the picture and then if i wanted to make it a little bigger i can pull it from the other direction so it stays up there so you can play around with exactly where you want it so now you can see though in something else um you can move 
these are two additional text box. So when I changed from a long name of Alexander to Carly, which is six letters, it's shorter. So now I have more space here. So you can play around with where you want these to go. Um, if you take two um, text box, one, two, I can kind of highlight them both. And now I, I can either group them together like that. Now, if I move them, they're always connected. If I want to ungroup and just temporarily group them, you highlight them. And maybe I want to see what these look like a little bit closer in. Then I just drag them in and then there you go. So you can play around with wherever you want to move them. Now, say my kid went to a high school whose colors were red and black instead of this blue. You click on like this where it says Ledoux Watkins high, high School that's currently in blue. Come over here to your top um, left side where the letter A and it says text color when I hover hover over it. You're going to click on it. You can see that the blue is highlighted. I can come down here, solid colors, and there is a red there. So I can click on the red and now it has changed that to a red. This one, class of 2024, I have added an effect to it. You can see it's black with a little bit of kind of like blue funky things coming out down on the right. When I click on it, if you come here in the top middle, you'll see effects. If you click on effects over on the left, if right now you can see that this purple box is clicked on something that says echo because that is the effect that I had to add. If I want to come back to nothing, I click over here and click none. Now you can see this went and it took away the blue effects. So I want to bring it back and now I can control A, the color of the line. So if you had red, you might click on the red and now you can see it adds the different dimensions with the red coloring. So that is up to you. Um, there's other different effects that you can do curved and different things. Um, uh, it depends on what you wanna do. And that's the beauty of you being able to edit yourself. So those are kind of the basic functions. Say on one of your designs, you even wanted to change the background color. If you click anywhere in a, the larger document, you can see now the entire document is highlighted in purple. That means it's the background color. So I can come over to this multicolored little square in the top left where it says background color. Click on that and say I just want to play and see what it looks like with the yellow background. There you go. Um, so you can change any of those. If I don't see a color, you can scroll down. You can come to this one right here where it says add a new color and you can move around, click in here, change things. You can put a specific hex code. Um, but for now, I'm going back to white. So that is how you would edit your own document. As you can see, this is what um, it will come out to look like, the one that I had put together. When I am done, um, first, well, first I want to see what size this was. Um, like sometimes when I have templates, I might give a customer four or five different size templates because they might not know exactly what size they want to print yet. So in order to like right now, I'm not 100% sure it doesn't tell me what size this is. Come up to this if um, resize and magic switch. Um, that might actually only be if you have Canva Pro. If you don't, this one will automatically resize it for me. But you can always come here to custom size on this left and say right now it's a 20 by 16. Say I just wanted to print, I don't know, a smaller 8 by 10 just on a regular standard print. My width is going to be the 10. You change it in here and you can see it's in inches. It gives you other options, but I wanted it inches. And then I would just change my height to an 8. Um, and then you would hit continue and you can either choose to make a copy and resize this one or just resize this design altogether. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as the 16 by 20. So now I'm ready to download it and send it to my printer. You come in the top right where it says share. I'm going to click on that. I come to download here, click on download. And there's it says right now all three pages. So just for this example, this one is page two. I would click on this arrow button, highlight them, only click page two because that's the only one that I want to download. But the most important thing is your file type here. You wanna choose what sort of file you want. If you're printing something from a nice printer or something large, you're gonna want something more of a PDF standard. If you're doing just a 
traditional eight by 10 photo at Walgreens, you can just do a PNG. But I know that I'm gonna be printing a larger poster size. So I'm gonna go either a PDF standard or a PDF print. You can always discuss it with your printer what they suggest. For this one, a PDF standard, I'm going to click on, you can see it's my page two, current page. Click on download, it's downloading it right here. You can see that it's going. And then as soon as I see that it is completed, it might take, it's gonna take a little longer when you do your PDFs because uh, it's a nicer dimension and better quality file. So now I would just go onto my computer to my downloads and that is the um, attachment of the file that you will send over to your printer. So those are just some basic Canva um, forms and steps that you can do to edit your digital download templates. Thank you.